multitask? You know what I mean. Do more than one thing at a time. Fess up. I will. Just yesterday, I was on a phone call and needed to really be paying attention so I could answer questions, but instead, eh, because the conversation was kind of lagging and I didn't feel like there was anything that I had to do at that time, I was writing an email. I was multitasking. Almost every day, I multitask while I talk to my mom. The conversation tends to be about the same, and so I don't tend to want to listen 100%, and so I'm making dinner at the same time that I talk to her, or I'm making lunch. Plus, it's a way for me to kill two birds with one stone, right? Because if I have to talk to her at some other time, I can't do something else. That's how we think. We'll be, we think we'll be more productive if we do more than one thing at a time. So if I talk to my mom and eat lunch, I don't have to spend time just talking to her and not doing something else. How often do you do that? Admit it, how often do you do that? Multitask because you think that's gonna make you more productive and effective. In fact, it doesn't. It doesn't. There are some new studies coming out of places like Stanford University that show that multitasking kills your performance and may even damage your brain. Think about that. The more often that you sit around watching TV and texting or looking at Facebook at the same time, the more often you're affecting your brain in a negative way. You're also making yourself less productive. So this research from Stanford University actually shows that multitasking will indeed lower your productivity and your performance. It makes it harder for you to pay attention, for you to recall information, and for you to switch from one job to another. They compared people who don't multitask to people who do, and that's what they found, that those who were multitasking couldn't pay attention as well as the others, couldn't recall information as the others, and couldn't switch from one task to the other as well as the others. So that right there should say to you, maybe multitasking isn't the way to be most productive. Maybe it isn't the way to become a high performer. Heavy multitaskers actually were worse at multitasking than those who like to do a single thing at one time. So the heavy multitaskers actually were bad at multitasking. Can you believe it? Well, you should. So the ones who didn't multitask when they were made to ask to multitask did a better job of it. Here are a few other things that you need to know about multitasking. Multitasking lowers your IQ. That's right, the people who, uh, who multitask, they can have their scores drop 15 points. So you wanna be thinking about that. If you wanna be smart, don't multitask. It also affect, might it cause brain damage. It might affect your brain in other detrimental ways. There was research done uh, at the University of Sus Sussex in the United Kil Kingdom <clears throat> that said, or that showed that high multitaskers had less brain density in the anterior cingulate cortex. Sorry, I had to look, that, look down at that to see how to say that. Less brain density in the anterior cingulate cortex. And that region of the brain is responsible for empathy as well as cognitive and emotional control. So if you want your brain to function well, you don't want to multitask. So how often do you multitask? Think about it, how often do you do it? I tend to do it a lot, but now that I know this, I'm gonna stop, especially because as a high performance coach, I want to raise my performance, not lower it, and multitasking is gonna lower my performance. So whatever you're doing, whether you're a writer, you're an artist, you're a CEO, you're an entrepreneur, you're uh, a, a yoga teacher, doesn't matter if you're trying to do more than one thing at a time, you're hurting your performance, not helping it. So start paying attention. How often are you multitasking? Catch yourself in the act. Become conscious. This is really about being present in whatever you're doing. So become conscious of the fact that you are multitasking. Put down the cell phone when speaking with someone else. Have only one document open on your computer at a time. Don't watch TV and look at your iPad or scroll through Facebook. Don't talk to your mom while making your lunch or dinner. 
Don't talk on the phone while you walk the dog. I have a habit of doing that too. I also talk on the phone when I'm in the car. Why? Because I don't want to do it during work hours or when I have other things to do. I'm not going to do those things. I'm going to become conscious of it and I'm going to become present in the moment. I'm going to do the one thing that I need to do in that moment. And I hope you will too. I hope this inspires you to achieve different results, better results by not multitasking, by focusing on one thing at a time. I'm Nina Amir. I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I'm also a certified high performance coach and an author coach and a blog coach. And I would love to know how I could help you, how I could serve you and help you increase your performance. If you're interested in that, go on over to ninaamir.com and click on the link for high performance coaching and you will see that you can download an application to work with me. It's an application actually for a one hour strategy session, just you and me figuring out how you can get from where you are to where you want to go. Taking an accounting of where you are when it comes to clarity, energy, courage, productivity and influence looking at how you can better master your psychology, your physiology, your productivity, your uh, influence, and your purpose. So if that's of interest to you, it's a free one hour session with me. Download the application, fill it out, send it to me, and let's set up a time to talk. I would love to get help you get from where you are now to where you wanna go using this research-based, results-oriented curriculum. I also can help you with author coaching, as I said, or blog coaching, or any of those things. You can find out more about it at ninaamir.com. So I hope that you'll do that. Go check me out. Let me know below what you think of this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my blog and to my YouTube videos. Follow me along so that I can help you, okay, so that I can provide you with more tips and more strategies and frameworks to help you be your best self. And until then, Go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.